Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to take out your old windows and replace them with new energy efficient windows. If you like doing things yourself and you like saving money, you should like this video. And if you do, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Subscribing helps me grow my channel and it doesn't cost you a dime. So please hit the subscribe button and thank you for watching. How to remove your old, old windows for new replacement windows. Okay, first a little window terminology. Uh, this is just window trim. It's a, a stop, basically, that holds this sash. This is the lower sash, the upper sash. This is the window. This, this here is the window stool. It is level. Um, on the other side, just on the other side of the stool, sitting about an inch lower and sloping away from the inside of the house to shed water is what's called the window sill. Um, to measure, you want to measure from the window sill just on the other side of the stool, all the way up top jam. And you're gonna measure that, that's the length of the window. You're gonna measure that, on, in an old house especially, on this side and on the other side, and some people take one down the middle. That's not necessary if the house is not too far out of square. Uh, to check for square, take a speed square and set it up at the top jam and the side jam here. And that is pretty darn good. You're just checking the corners, see how much they're out. Uh, this actually, for a house this old, is not out much at all. So what you'll need for this, uh, to get the old window out, is a multi-tool. Uh, if you don't have one, you can use a razor blade knife or something, but you've got to cut through years of paint, <clears throat> sometimes caulk. This one is completely sealed with paint and caulk. You cannot raise and lower them. So uh, all, along, all along here, you're going to have to uh, cut through all that paint to get this trim off, get this sash out. can't see what I'm doing but it's kind of hard to get the right angle here but uh, yeah there's a lot of paint in here and I wonder if somebody didn't caulk in there too just take your time work yourself work your way up that's coming away nice. I'm going to do the same thing on this other side. There's two pieces like that. Also, remember what window they go with. Just continue to... Work your multi tool where you see things are sticking. In this case, it's a uh, part of the window. I'm going to take this part out first. 
and I'll show you what was hanging up. These little things in these old windows uh, went through this, uh, the window frame and into the uh, side here to keep it from being raised. That was like a window lock. But anyway, if I get... How about that? See what that did? Slid back and forth. This window won't come out till we get this off. Uh, and then we're gonna measure, the new window will go up against this one. We'll leave it in there. Make sure you don't take that one out or knock it off. Because the window will be pushed up against that and here. All right, take, a, take your little pry bar. This, this is actually inserted into this. Um, and if you can pull it out, that would be better. See how that's starting to come out? Yeah. There we go. Once you get behind that, that'll come right out. But like I say, you don't need to save this. Yup. Well, that's even that spring still works there. See that? Got one on the other side too. There we go. Yeah. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, I cleaned it up a little bit so you can see uh, where we're going to be measuring from. Uh, so your new window is going to slide in from the inside to the outside and rest against this the front of the out or the outside of the window new window is going to rest against this okay <clears throat> and the bottom of it's going to rest can you see this this is uh not here you're not going to measure from here you're going to measure from here so what i'm going to do from down below where i told you I'm going to measure and I am getting 65 and 3 quarters. Now while we're up here at the top, you're just going to measure to there. So what I'm going to measure from here to here, and we're at 26 and a quarter. Obviously, um, you're, when you give those measurements to the people that are making your window or that we're ordering from them, uh, they're going to take off about a quarter inch of your measurements on e both the length and the width. Not a quarter inch on each side, a quarter inch total. So that you'll have, the, ideally, you just have an eighth of an inch play in here. One side is, the other one should be, but there's a tiny bit of play here. Let me see. Actually, just a little. A little bit of play, not bad. That's beautiful, really. You can't get much better than that. There's a I mean, barely off. Slightly, just slightly, but that's that. That's very good. All right, welcome back. Uh, so the replacement windows have arrived, and uh, if you recall, when we took the old window out told you to mark and save these uh, strips of wood. That's what's going to, we'll put back in to hold the window in there. Actually, the window would be screwed in, but uh, you need to save those pieces of trim. And uh, put a good exterior paint uh, on the inside of the old window casing. 
And then, uh, as you'll see, we're going to put some window tape along the bottom of this from about here. It's going to run all the way through here and up here, maybe three or four inches. And that'll just keep moisture from getting under the sill and damaging that. Then we're going to run a bead of caulk. Before we put that tape in, we'll run a bead of silicone caulk along here in each corner of the window. We're going to run a bead of uh, silicone caulk all the way up through here. And of course, across here. And the same thing all the way down. Right in here. So let's get started. that nice amount of caulk, bead of caulk around both corners here. So just peel the, uh, the backing off of this self-adhesive tape, take it down three or four inches. I should say before you put all this caulk on here, make sure you dry fit the window first. I've already done that. You know, before you get all that caulk in there, make sure your window fits. Um, this I've already done, but don't forget to do that. So we are ready to um, put the window in and we're gonna put the new window, the bottom of the new window in first. And then we'll push it up against this, uh, these stops that we've already caulked. Well, I did dry fit this. I knew it was tight, but it's that tape in there that I just put on there. I measured these pretty tight and it'll go. Yeah, get a screwdriver and pry these these here down so you can see where the screw is. Or where the screw goes, I should say. No, that one's coming down pretty easy. Some of these slide pretty hard. See? Very hard to pry some of them. Alright, so screw is right here. We're going to shim behind that. I've got maybe less than an eighth inch gap up here, but we're going to shim those. Make sure we push the window clear back to the stops and then put a screw through the um, through here, the shim and into the window jam. I'm going to go ahead and uh, raise the sash here. And again, we'll raise these up. So there we are. There's the pre drilled hole. Slid this up. Have the same thing over here. And we are putting the screws that came with it in there. Like I say, we're pushing, make sure you push, you push the window that way so that it hits the stop, the, the stop back in here. And 
and your window is in. Now we'll go ahead and uh, I'll show you what we put in these gaps. There's a eighth of an inch gap all along here where the old window frame and this new window meet. But uh, they make a special expanding foam for that, but you want to get the right kind because you don't want to max uh, a foam that expands a lot because it can bind your window. So this is made especially for that. Window and door foam, no warp. Shake the can for 30 seconds, attach the straw, and fill the, fill the gap here. Okay, when this uh, foam dries, go ahead and just cut it off with a serrated uh, knife, or this is a drywall saw. Have to get the strips put back in, put a little caulk around where they're jimmied up and fill your nail holes, and you're done with the inside. Uh, on the outside, you want to take some silicone caulk all the, all the way around the window. And that's how you replace a window with uh, an old, 100-year-old window with a nice, energy-efficient window. Pretty simple.